it was fun just soaking it all in, just going to the equipment room. First thing I saw was Sean Taylor. He's my he was one of my favorite players growing up. So when I seen his jersey in the equipment room, it was just like a I got chills just knowing like just this organization, the history behind it. It was just fun just being a part of it and I'm really looking forward to it. In junior year, like before I went on the bus, like an hour before that, I always watch like his tribute on YouTube, like before every game. It just it just give me chills, you know, just seeing what he went through and how everything ended. So he's definitely an inspirational person and he was he didn't have a lot to say. He just went out there and played, and I think I had that same personality on the field. He was just about his business. This guy was a professional, and then he was back at the building catching catching balls. I think he would catch anywhere from 400 to 600 balls a day. He bought in. He saw his body change. He saw his numbers change. He saw his production change. He's a walking billboard for our program. He may be the hardest working kid I've ever um, had in my program, to be honest. Him and Bradley Chubb, two of the same guys. They work and work and work, and they're not going to allow anyone to work. And this catch, oh my God! He didn't even bring his other hand to the football. What a spectacular catch by Harmon. Talk about helping out your rookie quarterback. to a rookie. 